Hey guys and girls, welcome back to the walkthrough. Now on part 21, and we're kicking off with shop three. And of course, we're going to be mending a bike before we get halfway through. And we think, yeah, that will do, and we'll just leave you it, and we'll get a bike. You how ignorant you are. There's so reward. many schemes and plans within plans. Anyways, shut up and get to work. If I get the impression he's in a bit of a bad mood. Probably because we never actually fixed the bite, we just sort of half mend it and then get a reward, as I was saying. But anyway, let's turn to the right. And then we're going to screw up a little bit, you know. Proper hardcore stuff here with All screwdrivers right. and that. You're getting somewhere now. Turn it around again. Yep, yeah, that's, that's good. Just done, just done that, but we'll do it again. Good let's work, get a bit of oil. I mean, it's turning fine, but a bit of oil is always useful. And then we'll turn it the other way, and it looks snazzy shabby, now. Hopkins. That's it. Okay. There we go. See you next time, Jim. It'd be nice if you actually fix the bike for once, and then we actually like get the bike as it's fixed. Surely that'd be the ultimate bike, considering that we've had five lessons of almost fixing it. Good speed, quite easy to control, quite snazzy, but it's got a weird like number plate thing on the front of it that I don't really like. Like it's trying to be a car or something. I don't know. Anyway, what shall we do now? It's halfway through the day almost. I think we shall do the wrong part of town. Wrong part of town is quite it's quite a good mission actually, I like it, I like it. Jimmy gets down with the nerds and, you know, does all sorts of crazy stuff. Helping out algae and also one of the preps as well, so you know. Everyone's a winner. Apart from the greases of course, because he lose. But anyway, the wrong part of town. You can sort of guess whereabouts this is gonna be. And you know, it's very straightforward. I'll let you watch the cutscene and talk to you after then. Amigo, I need your help. Amigo, Johnny and his goons were hassling me about algae. That guy's gone even crazier. He thinks algae is trying to put the moves on his girl. Algae and Lola? I know, it's crazy. Everyone knows algae likes blondes. Listen, find algae and get him back here until Johnny comes to his senses. Where is he? I don't know. I know he was working on a math project for Hattrick with Cornelius. Maybe he knows where Algy is. Who? Cornelius. You know, the scrawny kid in the acting club. He did an amazing Juliet in the school play. I think he has a 4.0 grade point average. I like how we're being told these completely useless facts about him. And that's how we're meant to identify with him. So we've now got to go and find, I think, Cornelius, so we can find out where Algy is. Hopefully he's not told anyone else. I'm sure we'll soon find out. There we go, large crowd. What a surprise. Oh, we know you know where he is. <gasps> Gary! Mm, he's at the pizza parlor, okay? Please let me go now. Fight, I fight, told you fight. he knew where Algy was. Shut up, Gary. You guys <laughs> get Algy and bring him to me at the clubhouse. I'm surprised. You guys take care of this pathetic excuse for a human being. Oh. hoping you'd say that. How nice. Please, I like how they just ignore the fact that Jimmy's there and they just run off and sort out algae. Honestly though. Come on, Cornelius, help me. If you if you play Juliet in the school play, you can do anything. My name is Hopkins. Oh thanks so much, Jimmy. Hey, I was lying when I told Johnny that algae is at the pizza parlor. Ah. Help him. So apparently he's somewhere in New Coventry. You should tell me where though. So that was a complete waste of my time. Thank you very much. But um, it's quite funny actually in that bit how um, let's, let's get a bike actually. But it's funny how like they're in the library talking. They really know it's no talking in the library. They have all ways to get someone to come over. Amigo, amigo. Honestly, I'd just be like, um, no, <laughs> no. I suppose some nice. Let's propose a bit of um originality, something different, you know. But anyway, this is going to be a case of getting to Algy and protecting him. Fairly straightforward. We'll get in the nerd's good books a little bit more. I like how he's helping out. Oh, sorry, well, he's defecting now from the greasers, and he's still. I'm still. I I've still got him wearing the greaser gear. It's a little thing I have, you know. He should look like the people that he's tackling, as if to try and sort of bring them down, fashion-wise. I don't know anyway. Oh, it's a new commentary now. The dark, dire new commentary. Get, 
The music sort of sets the tone, doesn't it, actually? Jump over the car, come on! Oh, flipping hell! Don't you dare go on my bike, you... Don't you dare! No, no, no! Come down, like, one minute, and they will steal your bike from you. Anyone here will, like. In this normal town, folk, it's pathetic. Honestly. What happened to standards of decency? Here we go. Algy, you're in so much trouble with Johnny Vincent and his boys. <sighs> Won't be the first time, I'm sure. And this time he's actually done nothing wrong. I did feel a little bit sorry for him. Especially because it's all Lola. I actually hate Lola. Seriously. So, so much. So, Chad, honey, listen, it's just a hundred bucks. That's nothing to a man of your means. Oh, but Lola, I'd have to steal it off of my father. But Lola, I thought Will that you me shut and you... up, Fetzo? Oh, big boned, not that. I thought you liked me. You said you did. I do. I, I really do. Some friend you turned out to be. You must think I'm really cheap. Just a cheap slut. Well, that's it. No, no, no. Oh, but oh, 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 wait. Ass. Ridiculous women. Oh. Look at you both. You're pathetic. But, but I, I thought, thought she, she liked, liked me. me. I don't believe this. You both better get over oh, it. No. Listen, we got to get out of here before Johnny Vincent sees you hanging oh, out with his girlfriend. Blimey. Algie, you take the girl's bike. Chad, oh, you better pedal for both great. of us. I got a feeling I'm headed for a fight. Oh. But, uh, but I was just helping Lola study, honestly. I'm so scared. What? Well, he's got to be around here somewhere. Let's go find him. There they are, on those bikes. Is that Algy? On a girl's bike? I understand Algy's pain, you know, actually. One time back at school, I was... I was riding... I, I was late for school and I, I was using my bike. My bike had a puncture. My girl's, my, my sister's bike. Slightly pink. Um, what's it called? Was there any other bike available? And I, so I sort of like rode it, but didn't ride it all the way to school. I sort of just like tied up like halfway around the corner so no one would see me on it. And I just about made it t in time. But honestly, Lola, which is like a hundred bucks. Don't you know we're students? Even preps probably have like some sort of budget. Right, I did spend quite a bit of money for my course store day, but that was worth it. On some crazy girl who's just like attempting to get money. I like this thing actually, this sort of like the Pokeball on the screen and then like riding away continuously and. Quit slacking! Whoa! Quit slacking! I'm doing as best I can. I seem to think the whole world's against you. Jimmy's the only one who's got like standards. Maybe, maybe, maybe Pete actually. Pete's got standards. But apart from that, seriously. It makes a change from a normal mission that like you're riding around a bike doing like this sort of like firing range style yeah. firing. Yeah, that was the worst yay high I've ever heard. Put some effort into it. I, but I say it's called woodland area there. I didn't even know. But we've had any trees. Good. I'm getting tired. Give me a minute to catch Dude, my breath. It's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. And all Star on Wars it. on us. Oh damn. <laughs> Oh god. I swear someone just threw a firecracker, a firecracker at us and we got away with that. Thank god for that. They come in that hordes though, seriously. I didn't know. I didn't realize there were so many greasers. Well, most of them are just like getting back on their bikes and trying to catch up with us, but how many firecrackers can one greaser take? I, I, I after all, I'd be like, hey, 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 those are firecrackers. That's serious. That's serious violence. Violence is a cool. You know. Oh, I think I hit someone that's not actually. I think, I think I just hit a person. That's bad. Oh no, my clock's flashing at me. I'm gonna be in trouble. Let's see. I could like fire one of the petrol canisters. That would create quite an explosion. Which I'm sure would take down quite a few bases, so you can sort of argue it to be useful. Great music as ever, of course. Did they just collide with each other? Oh, that'd be brilliant if I did. I think we're nearly there now. We are, come on, come on. A little bit We're more. nearly there, Jimmy. Just hold them off a little longer. That's more like it. Something a bit more encouraging, rather than, the, rather than all this high and mighty talk that you usually give me. I think that's it. You can thank there you go. Saving you later, but I seriously can't be seen if you lose it. You're supposed to not hit me right now. Bloody hell! That's just horrible. 
I should be right here. Here we go. Here's um the nerds oh, escort. You found him. Good job, Jimmy. You do have your uses after all. They look like a crazy boy band, well, don't they? There. The help, Jimmy. Perhaps you could come over to the observatory and play a game or two of Grottos and Gremlins with us sometime. Um, no. <laughs> no. Howdy's face looks really pissed off there, actually. He's like, oh, I wanted to play Grottos and Gremlins with Jimmy, but I don't think Jimmy could ever sink to that standard, as it were. Not by him wow. saying it, I think that's a very good thing to do. Grottos and Gremlins, quite creative, in a way. I'd never do it, but you know. Oh! I don't ever want to graduate. I'm just gonna run in front of him like, hey, I'm in class. Right, I think this is photography actually, my first photography lesson. This should be interesting. And I'll do that of course in the next part. See you then.